Hey everyone, so today I'll be teaching you how to make a catapult, and this is what it should look like at the end. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, it's just like a homemade catapult. So, I have all my supplies inside for you guys. Okay, so, the first thing that you're going to need or that you will need are some, um, clothespins, but you're going to need four of them, so four clothespins, popsicle sticks, um, so we, yeah, you'll need about six. You'll also need a spoon, you'll need just like a handful of rubber bands, and duct tape. I tried using scotch tape for one of them, and it didn't come out very well. You some binder clips. You're gonna need two, and then also for some of them, for the binder clips, you see these like little metal things that you can use to like pull it apart and stuff like that. I'm gonna be taking some of them out because you don't need them in. So to start making it, you're just gonna want to take three of the popsicle sticks. And then two of the um, clothespins, and just clip them on horizontally on the ends. So you might have something like this. And then take a binder clip. By the way, these are three quarter inch binder clips. These ones, you can get one that's like a size smaller that also works. And then just clip it in the middle of the popsicle sticks. And then you can just take one of them out. So take the one on the outside out. Like the little metal plastic thing. You want to keep the one on the inside. Like want the one on the same side as the popsicle sticks. Because that's where the spoon is going to be attached to. This thing. Oh my god. Why are lawn mowers so loud? My brother's mowing the lawn and like, it's very loud. Sorry, if you can like hear that, I'll try and talk over it. So you're just gonna take the um, popsicle sticks and then just put them like vertically like this. These, like the edges outside of the popsicle sticks, they're gonna be kind of wobbly. Fail. So like the edges of the popsicle sticks, they're going to be kind of wobbly, so you're going to want to secure them. You can use duct tape, but I like to use um, rubber bands for this part. Oh no. Oh yeah, and make sure that's sturdy. It's not sturdy. It's not sturdy. The um the last rubber band and I'm gonna put it inside the binder clip like that and then leaving the the rubber band inside the binder clip I'm gonna clip the binder clip onto the popsicle sticks to hold them together this is gonna go on the top of the catapult these are like different size clips These clips are different sizes. Does it matter? Yeah, kind of matters. Ah, fudge, monkeys. So it looks like this. I'm going to take my duct tape. And then I'm going to secure this, like the top. And this is actually too big. So once you have that, take the um, this little thing off the bottom of the binder clip, and you want to tape your spoon to it. So 
I'm gonna be using this tape to tape it first to the spoon and then I'm gonna tape the rest of it to the that little clip thing that hangs off the binder clip. Once you have that take the um rubber band and you're just gonna tape it to the back of the spoon. I'm gonna be using have you ever heard of six foot? If you don't know I'm lactose intolerant. So these are um dairy free chocolates. Three, two, one Oh my gosh. I think it just like the parts just broke off. Find it. And now the light turns on. Oh. So this is it. Oh parts and it broke off. Aww. Rubber band broke. 